bring darkness into the light. That is the goal of filmmaker Noemi Weiss in her 2019 documentary about young people struggling with mental health. We're streaming this eye-opening documentary called Connecting the Dots. And CBS 2's Usher Qureshi explains the meaning behind the title. When I developed depression, I didn't know what it was. My parents didn't know what it was. They didn't know how to help me. How to help starts with listening. That's the message in this film by director Noemi Weiss. We need to listen in a way that is with open eyes and with providing a safe space, providing no judgment. Her documentary about the global youth mental health crisis focuses on the voices of young people from around the world. I know a lot of people out there are even afraid to admit that they need help. They were very keen to, to be part of the film Express what they were going through, as well with the hope of, within their stories, being able to help other people in the process. I'm telling my story. It's literally making something painful inside beautiful. Kids in the film candidly describe their depression, anxiety, and thoughts of suicide. After my attempt at suicide, um, it was leaked to my school and my community. And that was really hard. We have created a world that is worrisome for a lot of the young people. And we have to provide as adults that safety that they are looking for. The name of her film, Connecting the Dots, became obvious to Weiss during her two and a half years of research. As much as we believe that we are in a world where we are all connected, the disconnect is huge. The isolation, the loneliness needed to be addressed. Weiss hopes the film encourages us to be unified in supporting young people after hearing their bold message. It took me five years to finally open up about my mental illness, but it wasn't as scary as I thought. It was one of the best things I've ever done. They are the great ambassadors of the message. I am their storyteller. It's their story. For CBS News, I'm Usher Qureshi. And you can watch the documentary tonight at 6.30 on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. We've also shared guides on our website for parents and educators on how to discuss the documentary with young people. If you or someone you know is in crisis, there is help available at the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can call or text 988 24 hours a day, seven days a week.